Hey cousins, hey, so listen, today we are going to do clean makeup plus hair. Listen, I've been working on this for a very long time, trying to find high performance products that are also good for our skin, good for our bodies, good for the environment, you guys, and I think I got it. So let's check it out. So FYI, just a couple things that I think you should know. My bathroom is extremely bright so when i'm finished with the foundation for my updos i'm gonna step out of the bathroom and that is when you are going to see all of the natural glory and colors of the makeup okay i just wanted you guys to know that also i want to let you guys know that this video in particular i'm not going to talk about my eyeshadow it's going to be a different video okay so i just want you guys to know that and if you're ready let's get it I think I should start by showing you the products that I use prior to the makeup that you're about to see and the products that I use afterwards when I wipe all the makeup off and do my skincare for the night. These are some of the things that I use. I'm not going to talk about that in this video, but I will link everything in the description box. So just so you know, these two products are the two primers that I use before the makeup. One is for my under eye, the other is for my full face. Here I am using the Born This Way multi-use concealer in the color chai i think that's how you say it sometimes i use chestnut chestnut is one shade lighter that just depends on you know how ignorant i'm trying to be if i'm trying to be ignorant on top of ignorant and i really want that highlight to pop i'll use chestnut but the majority of the time i use chai i feel like it complements my skin better now i like to let my concealer dry a little bit it just works better for me that way so while that is drying i'm going to use the cover fx talk free mineral foundation now this is buildable so it's not going to just start off in it on top of it it gives you the opportunity to build it up to the level that you want to build it to okay so this is the contour and I'm just utilizing my time wisely. So I'm gonna contour my nose as well. Now, I more so do the contouring of my nose really for my nose to pop. Not necessarily to slim my nose cause I actually like the size of my nose y'all. So I don't come in like super duper snatched on my nose. I just don't do that. Now right here, I'm just going in with the Born This Way concealer once again to pop those cheekbones, get those Janet Jackson cheekbones going on. So now that that part is done, I'm just taking my beauty blender and I am just blending out all of the areas where I put the concealer. The Beauty Blender is wet. I sprayed it with the All Nighter Setting Spray. That is my favorite setting spray and I use it in the matte because they have different versions of their setting spray. So I go for a matte finish. And this Beauty Blender really makes a huge difference, you guys. When you prep it with water, it grows, it gets larger. It doesn't absorb the makeup. It doesn't leave streaks, none of that. It gives you a nice smooth finish, y'all but you want to replace yours every three months okay but these are reusable you just clean them let them dry bam that's it that's all okay so i'm taking my same contour brush i didn't add any more product to it and i'm just gonna blend in between those two concealed parts basically just getting rid of those harsh lines making it more realistic pretty much here is my cover fx foundation that i'm actually using as foundation and i'm just going to press this into the skin really start to make those all of those different segments that we've done kind of blend them together what we've been doing is under coloring basically i like this method because to me it gives me a more natural finish some people do all of those steps after their foundation that'll give you a more bold dramatic effect but if you're going for something more natural, then you may want to lean towards the under coloring where you do your contouring, you do your concealing, the majority of it, you do underneath your foundation. And then that foundation just comes along and it just mixes everything up so nicely. It's just like when you cook, you want all of those flavors to marinate, you want them to fellowship, you want them to get along, okay? Cause you know that's some good eating, right? Well, that's what this process does. Okay, now right here, here this is a trick that i learned from nina ubi she is an amazing mua make sure you check her out i'm basically just blending the concealer where those lines are filling those lines in and kind of smoothing them out in preparation for the setting powder basically 
so that you're not setting a bunch of lines. I thought that was brilliant. And the setting powder that I am using is House Labs Blurring Talk Free Setting Powder and I'm using Honey. The reason why I chose this setting powder is because so many setting powders still use talc in their cosmetics. Yeah, it is crazy. And if you breathe that stuff in consistently, it can really do damage to you and I'm not here for that. So this is one of the few that really uses high quality clean ingredients you guys and at the same time is a high performing product y'all that's hard to find both of those things so i'm just going through setting everywhere we put that concealer we are just going to go through and set that y'all i tried to find a setting powder with cover fx because i love their product so much but their darkest setting powder was super light y'all i was like now wait a minute Wait a minute, and Jackie Anna pulled my coattail to this a long time ago about products being more inclusive of the beautiful shades of brown. Yes, that exists. But that was the only thing about Cover FX because they're like their foundations and concealers and stuff, they have a wide variety of colors. So I was like, uh, y'all just gonna skip over the setting powder, but yeah, whatever. So speaking of Cover FX, this is their blush. And I'm just gonna follow that up with a bronzer by Ilia Beauty. Basically, this is just gonna bring that color back, y'all, because we are yet alive and in the land of the living. And baby, we wanna look like that, okay? We wanna bring that color back because sometimes the concealer and stuff and the satin powder can, you know, it does what it does appropriately, but sometimes it can leave you looking washed out, lost and turned out, you know what I'm saying? Down and out. And we don't wanna do that. So I'm literally just bringing that nice toasted brown color back now i'm using songbird which was perfect for me but it is their darkest shade so if you need a shade darker of a nice bronzer you can check out kosas they have really nice deep colored bronzers so um, if you're looking for something which is a little bit deeper you can check them out now back to Ilia beauty i'm using their highlight and baby why did she punch me in the face like that i mean i know my future is bright but i don't need my highlighter to say so in its special way so i am taking that same brush that i just used for the bronzer and i'm just going over that highlight blending it in i did not dip it into the product this is just the remnants that were already on the brush and there we go man calm that highlight down didn't i sheesh now I'm just cleaning up my brows with my favorite brow brush. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and I am using the color Ebony. Here's how I get my brow slit. It is very easy. Just take your concealer, bam, draw you a line. That's it. Spray your face down, spray it, spray it down. I cannot stand this part, y'all. Oh my goodness. But you gotta do it, especially if you want a long wear. Now to one of the most requested parts of this video, my lashes. Right here, I'm using Lancome's Booster Enhancing Lash Primer. Add this to your lash repertoire. This is the first step. And I want, I want you guys to really pay attention to how I am applying. It can be a tedious process, you guys, if you're used to just kind of like putting on falsies, which I was at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's so easy and you will prefer it. I promise you, I have not looked back to falsies, I'm telling you. And you really want to get the product on there. You want to let it get tacky a little bit and then go over it again. That's why you see me just kind of like going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And you really got to make the ugly face. You really do. That just kind of adds the spice to it. Now you want to make sure you wipe your brush off before you insert it back into the tube so no makeup gets into the tube. Now to the first actual mascara. This is Marcel's Extension Plus Pro Lash grow complex and i have it in the color black this really lengthens your lash okay and with the addition of that primer that lash primer baby 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 i didn't even know my lashes had it like that y'all i didn't know they were killing the game like that i had no clue 
until I start using this. This is the thicky thick. This is the mascara that's going to get those lashes real good and ignorant and thick. This is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara in Intense Black. Now, this mascara is paraben free. The extension is fragrance paraben free, hypoallergenic. Y'all, seriously. Actually, the Marcel line, I think all of their products are like that, paraben free, hypoallergenic, fragrance free, but they don't have a lot of colors for brown girls like me. So, oop, I won't be using their makeup outside of the Extension Plus Mascara. Now for the bottom lashes, we're really gonna do the same exact thing that we did at the top. And I'm just showing you how meticulous I am, especially with the primer, because that literally sets the stage for exactly how your lashes will look once you apply your mascara that really really sets to stay so I'm making sure that I get a nice coating of that primer and I just wanted to show you that but everything else is the same and bam now what I do is go back over it with the Stila that's the thicky thick that's what makes her thicky 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 thick and this is my very last step in my lash process okay once you do this step your lashes are here for the party I applied dots to my face that's normally where my dots are but makeup covers them up so I just put them back over there we're gonna finish off with a little Fenty gloss and we are on to the hair so I'm going to start off with Miel's Pomegranate and Honey Curl Refreshing Spray. I love this stuff. I literally use this before all of my styles and my hair feels so good when I take my styles out and it's very nourishing. It is ridiculously nourishing. I love, love, love that spray. Make sure you get your hands on it and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm just distributing that throughout my hair because I want every bit of my hair to have the same benefit as every other bit of it. So I want to make sure it's evenly distributed and it is. Now y'all know I love this gel. This is Escher Girl Slick and Slay Braid Lock and Edge Gel and I'm using Coco today. I'm taking my rubber bands and I am dousing them in oil. The oil that I used is the Wild Jamaican Black Castor Oil. And I believe those are all of the products that I wanted to mention to you guys from the makeup to the hair. So everything else you can just kind of watch and see how I styled my up to. And I'm also going to be testing out like three or four ponytails. Y'all, a couple of these ponytails. Ah, I don't know. I think we have some good ones though. So make sure you check it out all the way to the end. I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm going to be doing a uh, another tutorial on my eyes as far as the eyeshadow I just wanted to make that separate um, so I'm gonna be doing that and once again my bathroom is super bright y'all so in a minute once I go into the room you will see the full glory of this makeup honey it will all make sense okay you will see it in natural color and get a better idea of the final look and as usual, all of the links of everything that I use today will be in the description box. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can join the family, join the fun. Let me know if you want more makeup tutorials. I will slowly start to ease them into the repertoire, but only if you guys want them. Um, again, keeping in mind that I'm not a makeup artist, I'm still learning. So it would just be me passing nuggets along the way as I learn them or as I research. So yeah, let me know if that's something that you want to see implemented. I'm very interested to hear your thoughts. So make sure you blow the comments up because your girl wants to know. Y'all help me a lot. Definitely keep me informed on that. All right. And in the meantime, in between time i wish you all peace love life but listen don't you go nowhere because we're not done we still got to work on these ponytails hold on a minute
Mm-hmm.